So I was sitting on my desk watching some videos and suddenly a thought of my old games came to me, specifically my very first one, which I created for 5 years ago from today and I made it in Billbox Game Engine. And I just felt a wave of nostalgia. At that moment, I decided to recreate the game in Godot. The game was nothing fancy, it was just a little casual game where you have to avoid the incoming cars by moving your car left and right. I don't really have any footage of the game now, but it's something like this. And yeah, I created this little demo of the game to show you how the game looked back then, just for the video. So with all that nostalgia running up my nerves, the first thing I did was sleep. Yeah, I slept cause it was almost 3am and I was tired. After waking up, I finally started to work on the game. I opened up Godot and created a new fresh project. This time, I wanted to give the game a different look than it originally had. I found this cool car pack by LoonyBits on ish.io and it just looked so much cooler. So I downloaded that and imported the sprites into Godot. Then I started working on the car controller, which was really simple to make, at least the old movement style was. But as I was remaking it, I needed to not only change but also improve things. The old movement felt static and un natural so to enhance that i found a really cool arcade controller for the car after understanding it with my heart i made the car rotate when moving left and right this felt way better than just having a static car moving and it made the game feel more dynamic and natural i also created a temporary infinite road thingy it's just the texture being mirrored along the y-axis i achieved this using the parallax background and parallax layer node with mirroring on but it's temporary and I kept on tweaking the controller until I was finally satisfied with the results. This is how the controller was looking at the end of the day. So when I was adding doors to the car, which were separate sprites, they were looking kind of weird. Like they were not fitting perfectly, so I had to replace them with something else. And I found a cool pack by Unlucky Studio and this one was pretty cool. So I replaced the sprites with a new one and this is how it was looking. And the major thing that I worked on day 2 was the random scene spawning system. If you have used Billbox, it has a really nice way of making scenes and randomizing them. So I wanted something like that but in Gato. The way it works in Billbox is that you create a bunch of scenes with variations and then those scenes are spawned again and again in a randomized order. So that's what I did in Godot and this is how it works. I started day 3 with making some enemy cars. I created a scene for enemy car that acts as a base scene for all enemy cars. Then I could just inherit from that scene and make multiple cars with different properties like different direction and speed for each car. And then I got started with completing the main game loop. I added physics layer, restarting the game and bunch of other game loop related stuff. I also made a cool coin spawner. Basically you just place a path 2D and the curve on how you want the coins to spawn. And this code does all the magic of spawning the coins for you with a specified distance. And that's the end of day 3. On day 4, I added the score system. It was pretty basic, just a score and high score based on number of coins collected. And I also made the save and load system for the high score. Then I made the whole mind map of how the game was going to be executed from start to the main game loop. And then out of the road background sprite, I made a single road sprite as there were going to be two modes in the game, the two way mode and one way mode. Day 5 was all about designing UI for the game. I went with a very simple UI design as I'm not very good with UI and UX stuff. I created two separate designs for PC and phone to give the best experience for both PC and phone users. So that's it for this devlog. I really hope you enjoyed it cause I had a lot of fun making this video. I tried a different style for this one so let me know if it was any good. I'm going to make more devlogs of this game so stay tuned. Also I'm going to start beta testing for this game very soon. So join my discord server if you're interested, especially the mobile phone users. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.